we're going to go on and get started. Um, try to be on time. We're going to go on and get started, and we want to just say thank you. Thank you for being able, those that are sitting towards the back, to give honor to someone else. It's not an easy thing for someone to give honor to someone else, in my opinion, unless you have the Lord on your side. And so we can really give honor to those that are honorees, and we have several of the honorees here today. Folks are still coming in. And just a little housekeeping matters before we get started, I see our commissioner, our commission chairman is sitting in the back. Come on up, Commissioner Tim Lee. He has a seat right here, right here on the end. You can tell that I'm an evangelist from the church. I just believe in order. And, and, and it's all right when you have lead people to come up to the front. Um, However, we're here this morning for a special celebration, and I just want to first thank Georgia Long for what they are doing, giving back to the community. Georgia Long has partnered with me and has given to the seniors at Parkland Manor, to the seniors at the Freeman Food Center, and so the CEO is here. You can't go no higher unless there's the people over him. He's here on a Saturday morning, and that's special to me and the people. And so let's give him a hand. <laughs> if you look inside of your program, we're going to go by the program. We know that you don't want to be here all day. We're going to break just a little bit in between once we get started so that you can sit and eat. You can as uh, uh, we have our president of the Tabernacle <coughs> Church of God in Christ, Christian Women Council. And I'm going to tell you, Christian Women Council means a lot. They do a lot. At this time, we're going to go on and open up our, our program. Yours truly, myself, Larry Cater, is your MC for the morning. And we are going to have a selection, and I don't know if they are here yet. Asha and Nikki, they are not here just yet, but I'll tell you who is here to open it up. We have Miss Sybil. If you give me one minute. Okay, Miss Sybil is here, and Miss Sybil can sing and give us an opening selection to open it up. And while she's getting her mic together, after Ms. Sybil, we're going to have the invitation coming from Pastor Allen Taylor Jr. of Walking by Faith Ministries in Hiram, Georgia. Get along with 
Most gracious God, we just thank you today for waking us up this morning, God. We thank you for bringing us all here safely and bringing us in this place the way you brought us today, God. And we thank you, God, for your strength. For your word says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And when I look around the room, Lord God, I look at all these professional people and all of the careers that we are all in individually. And it's been your strength, God, that has made it possible when we felt like giving up, when we felt like it's been so hard on us, when it was so hard and we didn't think we could make it, God, we thank you for your strength that has made it possible for us to be able to make it, God. And God, I pray that you continue to give us strength, that you continue to test every last one of us, and I pray that you bless us in a mighty way, oh God. All of your people in this room, bless, Lord God, because we need your blessing. And God, we can't make it without you, Lord God. And God, I just pray, God, to continue to be with all of us and let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, oh God. In Jesus' name I pray. Let everyone say amen. Amen. We thank God for this uh, civil being able to just step in, and how many know that there's always a rain in the bush? So we, uh, we're moving right on. It's my pleasure to give the occasion as to why we are here this morning. About 12 years ago, we started Women History Month in Cobb County. And if you look through your program, you would see if Ms. Daria Wilson would stand just for a minute with me. If you look through your book, you would see Ms. Daria is a publisher also. Also, she was a, a lot. Her, her bio is inside of the book. But she put together and compiled along with, if you would look out on the table, there's a book for Cobb County, Women the first book ever written in Cobb County, 52 women, did extraordinary things. What is extraordinary? Do you have to have a professional PhD to be extraordinary? Well, we have a lady in the house that was extraordinary that was a bus driver. She saved our children in the Clarkdale Elementary School. She thought and did something to pull all of those kids out of a building that was going underwater, as you saw on TV. Extraordinary. We're here to recognize extraordinary people. Those professional people, along with extraordinary people. Ms. Daria compiled this, uh, along with the 52 women, she compiled this book and brought it up to date, bringing more women into it. Is, is this all the women? No. Can you help get more women names on the list? Yes. By telling us, when Women in History started, it was back in the days 100 years ago. To, it marks the 100 years this year. Where women could not do anything. We could have children. We could stay at the house and stay subject. Okay, but now we're subject to a higher calling, a higher calling of doing greater things. Extraordinary women. We have Ms. Leanne Roberts in the back of the room, who's an extraordinary woman of God and woman in Georgia alone. She's a rock and a pillar of strength for the community because she, thanks to Ms. Leanne, many of you have had a free lung exam this morning the preliminary function exam. Thanks to Mr. Boyle for allowing us to do so. That test cost a lot of money. And they did it for 83 of the people at Georgia Parkland Manor, which I'm security guard next door. I hold a lot of jobs to make one salary. Commissioner Lee is gonna give me a one salary job one day. <laughs> <laughs> but however, I'm where God would have me to be doing what I need to be. Um, if you would look on the front of your program, Extraordinary Women. We're finding out a lot of extraordinary things today. If you look to the second person over, how many 
have heard of Susan B. Anthony. Stand up, Mr. Boyle. I'm gonna steal it, but I'm gonna I, I, I'm gonna take it from him. But he can coattail on the back of me. This is his great, great, great aunt. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I'm not gonna say anymore. You know, I'm I'm a proud Cobb County because my roots come back from 1827 in Cobb County. There's another book out on the table by Dr. Thomas Scott. And um, if you know me, you know I never will put a praise on myself. You don't honor yourself. Okay? But I am reading that book. There is a book out there that, that's on me too that Dr. Scott wrote on the history. One day I didn't know history. And a few little ladies, and y'all, I'm kind of comical with talking. A few little white ladies took me into the cemetery and had me walk in front of Daria down through some thistles and all that stuff that was giving my legs and said, if you don't know history, you don't know yourself. So I had to learn who I was and who, I, who, who myself was. Mary Anderson, the Mabel House, Miss Daria. And I'm saying, who do they think they are? But they, Miss Zelda, her mother worked with us, Miss Green, there in the red, with the um, Hands Across Time. We did the slave grade project at the Mabel House. <laughs> Thank you. Some ask, why am I here? Like Miss Hunter, extraordinary women. Like Miss Murdis, I got Miss Murdis up in the front. Miss Murdis is 89 years old, and so we have to talk loud because she wants to hear what we're saying. Miss Murray came from the, most of you don't know this, the Riverside community. <coughs> okay, back in the days when uh, that part of Atlanta and Cobb County was not Atlanta and Cobb County like we're segregated now. It was, it, it, it was uh, a different name. We were the Cox's boxes and such as that. You need to pull that book out of the Cobb County Library and read about it, especially if you're going to